Right, hello guys, this is a 290 Cummins and a uh, Hay Squeeze, an old 290 Cummins. Um, thought I'd go over This actually started out this morning as a simple project where we're going to reseal rocker boxes, um, reseal valve covers, run the overhead on it, and we were going to put the air compressor back in it. We got a new air compressor. But I got to the back rocker box and I noticed that the head bolt was loose, so I grabbed the head bolt and just pulled it out. And you can see that head bolt's been broken there for a long time. So I got to get that broken head bolt out of there. Uh, hopefully, it's not going to be too much of a bear. We might have to drill it out. But uh, I wanted to go over something with. Uh, I get a lot of questions from people around here. They have Cummins and they want to know inner base circle method for adjustment and outer base circle. The, this Cummins is going to have. This has top stop injectors. You can always see a top stop injector. You'll see this this little rod. That's a top stop injector. And uh, on top stop injectors, the preferred method is the inner base circle method. And on the inner base circle method, the same valves. If you get to where your accessory drive mark is, the this the injector won't be adjusted on the same cylinders. You'll be adjusting valves. It'll be a different cylinder. On the outer base circle method, the You'll adjust your valves and your injector on the same, on the same uh, piston, on the same cylinder. So, uh, on this one here, I'll get out there and get down and show you guys some specs so you have a clue what I'm talking about. On on a, any inline six, your firing order is going to be one five three six two four. Um, as you can see here, your outside rockers are your exhaust on these Cummins, and your inside rockers, which are these, this one and this one, you're going to be intake. The middle ones are your injectors. Okay, on these top stop injectors. So, another way I, f I, I remember the firing order pretty easy is uh, 153624, okay? You always get companion cylinders on inline six, and the companion cylinders on an inline six. What a companion cylinder is, is that cylinder, you're going to have, uh, say if you're on top bed center compression, uh, number one's on top bed center compression, then number six cylinder is going to be on top bed center exhaust. They're on the same, they're, they're going in the same direction, but they're on a different stroke. Um, and another easy way to remember your companion cylinders on inline six, they always equal seven. So one and six is seven. 2 and 5 is 7, 3 and 4 is 7. So 1 and 6 are your companion cylinders, 2 and 5 are your companion cylinders, and 3 and 4. So that's an easy way to do it. But on these on these top dot, top uh, stop injectors, you can see your valve arrangement right here. Okay, you're going to start off on, on the accessory drive on pulley position A. You're going to set injector 3, valve 5. But the way you need to tell that, if you go to valve 5 and your valves are tight on valve 5, then that valve is not ready to adjust. That means that you're down here, on at, you're on A, which means that check valves 2. And I guarantee you valves 2 will be loose, and then you can adjust injector 4. So on these uh, 290 Cummins, you want to go... Uh, 11 and 23 thousandths, 11 intake and 23 thousandths. If you have aluminum rocker boxes, if you have cast iron rocker boxes, you want to go 13 and 25. So that's on a cold set too. They have hot sets too, which I don't ever do hot sets. I, I hate getting the shit burn out of me. So, um, but a hot set, if you want to do it, is it's a little bit different for cast iron boxes. It's the same for, for a, um, for aluminum, it's 11 and 23, but on the cast iron boxes, it's 11 and 23 for a hot set, and 13 and 25 for a cold set. But uh, on when you start adjusting this, I'll show you where your valve set marks are. Well, these are, this one's really hard to see because the AC compressor is right in the way. But you'll get around to where it says it'll say A right on top of the pulley. Your pointer. There's your pointer right back in here, and you'll you'll see a little notch in this, and on the fat part of this pulley here, on the accessory drive pulley, it'll be marked. 
on there it'll say A 1 to 6, it'll say B 2 to 5, and it'll say C 3 to 4. Now if you're on a on like a 400 Cummins or an STC motor you can do the outer base circle method to where you can adjust the so if you get to 1 to 6 on A you adjust valve 1 you just check your valve if you're on number 1 you see if your valves are loose you know and then if your valves are loose on number 1 and you're on the A mark both intake and exhaust valves are loose and you adjust your your valves but on the on, important thing to notice to, to, to note on the outer base circle method when you're adjusting your injector first like on a big cam 444 STC motor adjust your injector first then adjust your valves because what you're doing when you adjust your injector you're preloading the rocker shaft so if you adjust your valves first and you do it the wrong way by adjusting your valves first and then you adjust your injector last you'll come back and you'll check that your valves are loose because you've preloaded your rocker shaft so you want to adjust your, on the outer base circle method, you want to adjust your injector first, then do your valves. Important note to remember. And this is going fire in order, so we'll start out at A, and say you're on cylinder 1, then you'll go to B, which is 1, 5, you'll go to cylinder 5, then you go to C, then you go to, to cylinder uh, 3, and then basically just keep going around, it would be 1, 5, 3, 6, 2, 4, and just adjust your valves on that. But uh, you'll have different valve specs. I got a 444 over here in the shop too, and they're 14 and 27 thousandths. But these 290s were 11 and 23. So I hope I haven't given too much information not to confuse everyone. Um, any questions? Just give me, you know, leave a comment, and I'll do the best I can to answer your question. Uh, I work on a lot of these older Cummins, and I work on a lot of newer Cummins. You don't r hardly ever see an inner base circle method. I don't think. I've run an inner base circle method on anything newer than a than a big cam. I think these all all these old 220s and 290s were inner base circle method. But uh, you get to an N14, and you're you're going to run you know outer base circle method on an N14. But uh, thanks for watching this, guys. And any questions, just be sure to comment, and I'll I'll try to answer you the best I can.